intrusive thoughts be like? Oh, can I pet your dog? <laughs> yeah, for sure. Oh, what's your name, little guy? His name's Ben. Ben. Oh, he he's so cute. I just I I just want to I, I just want to punt that motherfucker. Like sometimes when I'm petting a small dog and I start rubbing their belly, I just think of like if I'm rubbing their belly, what if I just just chuck them? And oh, like them lamb safely, but like how far up can I chuck them in the sky? Like that's what's going through my head. Man, these intrusive thoughts I be having make me wonder whether I belong in maximum security prison or not. Like, I don't even mean to, but the thoughts that pop into my head are so menacing that I can't even say this shit on YouTube. Or this video what? will get taken down. Then I'll be cancelled. Then my whole channel will get deleted. Then I'll be thrown into a psych ward, and then I'll be put on the fucking death penalty. Like, these- My nigga, what, what, what do you be thinking about? What, what do you, I'm like that too, relatable. That's my thoughts sometimes. El Meezy, what did you send me? Blitzo versus your grandpa. These thoughts that pop into my head are so alarming that they make me want to beat my own ass, bro. Hey man, uh, what? Why'd you just sock yourself in the face? Oh, well, well, you see, I was about to push that unsuspecting toddler into the deep end for no apparent reason, so... <laughs> Yo, this guy's about to assault a minor. Hey, you can... <laughs> I was gonna say that wasn't that bad, but when you put it like that, like, the kid's obviously prepared. He has his life jacket, his floaties on. Like, like, give him a little shove, a little, a little push won't hurt nobody. He has goggles. Back. But it's not like every single intrusive thought I have is bad enough to get me convicted. Like whenever I'm walking across a bridge, I have to use every cell in my body to fight jump? the urge of just tossing my phone into the water. Like there is literally oh. no benefit from doing. Oh, did I expose myself there. Oh, my bad. Oh. I thought we'd be fighting ourselves to not jump because sometimes like I'm scared of heights, but I'm like, what if I just jumped right now? That's what's going through my head. Doing that shit, but there's just something inside of me that would feel so much satisfaction with just seeing my phone dissipate into the water. You know, maybe you get that urge because it would just be satisfying to do some shit that's out of the box. Some shit that right. nobody else would do just to just to break the simulation a little bit. Because I could be having the best day of my life. I could wake up, get the meanest pump in, hop in the shower, eat the most f I could wake up, get the meanest pump in, hop in the it touches the floor? It touches the floor? The shower, eat the most fire breakfast, and draw the most pristine stickmen I've ever drawn. But as I'm casually walking beside a bunch of cars that are going 65 miles an hour, I'm still gonna have the urge to just throw myself in front of a car, bro. And it's not even on some emo shit. Like, I want to live. But I also want to dive into some oncoming traffic. But at least I'm not the only one who does this. Like, you, like other people do this, uh, right? L like it's normal, right? But have see the thing is like the like it is normal. But but, but the difference between me and you is I'm not a pussy, so I do it. Like like I do go in front of the cars, and they stop for me, which you know is very it's very lame. But sometimes I go in front of the cars, and sometimes I just put my foot out and I just stop the car. I, the car just crashes into my foot. And I just stop traffic. But that's because I do 100 push-ups, 100 sit-ups, and a 10, I run a 10-kilometer run every single day. Like, if I didn't do that, then that wouldn't be possible. The time an intrusive thought will just be to do some oh, goof. my bad. I forgot 100 squats. Goofy shit. Like, you're just forced to imagine the consequences of what it would look like to start throwing it back on a Tuesday at 2.41 p.m. And every once in a while, you'll just be chilling, and you'll witness a motherfucker fall to the intrusive urges. What are you doing? Oh, 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 hey, shit. He let the intrusive thoughts win, man. Now, I don't even know if these count as intrusive thoughts or not, but as a dude, when I'm walking down the street, I'll just be going on with my day chilling. Then all of a sudden, I see a car, and I'm like, if I don't make it to that tree before this car, I'm gonna die. <laughs> I'm dead. Aw, oh, shit. Honestly, these kinds of intrusive thoughts are, are, are kind of motivating. Like, it's the same thing. I, my intrusive thoughts be like... Damn, I forgot. Oh, I just, I just lost it.
Oh, I just is thought. having a hype man at the gym, except instead of that positive reinforcement, if you don't get those three extra reps, you're, you're gonna done. die. It's like whenever I'm at the gym hitting those Bulgarian split squats, I'd be having mental wars with myself. Oof, that was a good set, man. I think we're done. Five more reps or you're a bitch. Damn, good shit. All right, I think we could wrap it up. Ten more, pussy. Who the fuck's gonna carry the boats? I told you we should have stopped, bro. Fifteen more or you like dick. Now that I think about it, there's a good amount of people in prison right now who just succumb to their intrusive thoughts. Because <laughs> intrusive thoughts are just like that demon on your shoulder telling Sometimes you- Sometimes I be sitting at like, when I, we used to have like, uh, like on Thanksgiving, where it's just like a bunch of us at a kitchen table, I'll be like- would it be crazy if I just stood up in my chair and I just started I, with my meat on just swing, swing it around? Like, would that be a, an insane thing to do? You know, it, it's just like, I'm, I'm just thinking, I'm like, would that, would that be crazy? Would I be the crazy one? You to do the most devious shit possible. And I know there's a bunch of motherfuckers out there who just listen to that little guy. Hey, man, you see that lovely old lady right there? Yeah, yeah, you're gonna hit her with a mean right hook. Well, well, what's in it for me? Nothing. Shit, all right. <laughs> but to be honest, there is a handful of times where I've let the intrusive thoughts take over. Dang. One of the most memorable was way back when I was five years old. I remember sometimes, sometimes I'd be letting the intrusive thoughts take over. And I'll, I'll be thinking, like, I'll be laying down, but I really have to pee. And I'll be like, what would happen if I just peed right now? Like, should I just let it rip? Like, because it's like on the verge of my bladder. Like, I can feel it actively going through the stem of my tip waiting to go out. And I'm like, what if I just peed? What? You know what I'm saying? Like, like what, what if it just happens? Like, <laughs> Me and my older brother were just dicking around, doing some five-year-old shit. Keep in mind, this story takes place before your boy had even developed consciousness. So I was just a little munchkin doing munchkin shit. Then yeah. suddenly this urge came over me. It, it was hey, unlike you your anything brother? I'd ever felt before. It, it was dark, irresistible. And for no apparent reason, I bit my brother's arm. And this was probably the most satisfied I'd ever felt in my entire life. But I still do that. I still sometimes have intrusive thoughts to bite. Yeah. Yeah, I'll be having intrusive thoughts to bite. I don't be just biting people, but the thought do be coming into my head. It was followed by shame and regret because I had no excuse. Ow, wh why the fuck did your dumbass just bite me, bro? Um, I, I, I felt like it. And one of my lowest IQ moments of all time took place when I was in grade eight. It was goddamn sewing class, bro. And I remember I was having sewing a particularly class? miserable day, so I was just going through the motions. We were all gathered around this big table with our sewing machines, some fabric, and some scissors. I rem How old are you? Sewing class? You went to high school in the, in the 90s? So, uh, what? I remember I was working on some shitty little big chungus stuffy. But on this particular day, the sewing machine cable was looking, it was looking mad thick and what? juicy. And like I said, I had an intrusive thought to put a knife in a ceiling fan. Like the electrical part of the ceiling fan. The power, the power went out to the house and there was a big like shock in my room. Not my proudest moment. Not my proudest moment at all. Said I was having a bad day, which is exactly why the intrusive thoughts decided to catch me at my worst. Psst, psst, do it. What d d to do what? Oh, you know what to do. You're the one with the scissors in your I'll hand, buddy. How, how did these even get in my hand? I now you were cut chew it. it. Cut it, Chains. Because I've caught myself no. chewing stuff. Why the fuck would I? The wire exploded with smoke, and my heart dropped so fast, bro. And everyone around the table just stares me down. And I'm thinking I can somehow cover this shit up like I didn't just take some fucking scissors and snip that shit like an umbilical cord. Maybe I could convince the teacher the cord snipped itself or some shit. But as I look down at the scissors in my hand, there's literally a chunk missing from the scissors. They look like they survived World War II. Damn. But bam. Barely. The scissors are all charred up and shit, and just like that, my plan of convincing her I didn't cut it it's done. went out the fucking window. It's you take one look at the cord, one look at the scissors, and one look at my dumbass face, and you could piece together exactly what happened. So my sewing teacher walks over looking pissed as hell, and she tells me to go sit in the corner. So I take my charred scissors and sit in the corner like I'm a five-year-old, but to be fair, 
I made a five-year-old decision. Like, I was in you grade did? eight. I was 14, bro. Oh, you didn't make a five-year-old decision. Grade eight. Okay, so you're not from the United States because no one here says grade eight. <sighs> what kind of 14-year-old cuts the cord I'm to a sewing like, machine because he no felt cool like it? Like, if my 14-year-old son did some shit like that... <sighs> I would tell the kid I'm going to get some milk and I'm calling it quits. I would have to have another kid and try it all over again because that kid is going have a nowhere whole in life, family. man. So as I'm sitting in the corner realizing I'm a disappointment, it was one of those moments where you fucked up so bad you don't even feel any emotions. I was just sitting there straight faced <laughs> like, well, fuck me. It yeah, was really like, one well, of but what's going to happen is going to happen. And I completely deserve it. Any shit I could do. You you just there awaiting punishment. You know, sometimes you're getting beat across the ass with the belt with a straight face. Like, yep. I knew this was gonna happen and I still did that. Why did I still do that? One of those moments where you just you you just wanna stop existing. So after the class ended, the teacher came over to me and she said, Chains. Why the fuck did you cut the cord of the sewing machine? No, Miss Sewingson, you, you gotta hear me out. Okay, this better be good, Chains. <sighs> Bro's looking mad juicy, and the scissors just teleported into my hands. I don't, I don't yeah. even know. You did what? It'd be like, <sighs> Mom, it, it was the intrusive real. thoughts. They, they, they told me to do oh, it. Oh, I'm about to win. Teleportation's that real. Ass. The fuck? Who is that? What am I watching right now? Oh, this is the outro. Okay, I'm sitting here like, okay, so he's stalling. He's stalling for the eight minutes so he can get his ad rolls. Okay, I was sitting here like, what is going on? I respect it. I respect the hustle. You got to get them ads in.